Hello, I'm the Media Wiz, because weren't for him wasn't enough. And welcome back to Media Ween. And I have a new outfit. And the lights are off. And my lights are all on. Well, decoration lights anyway, and Jack Lantern over there, but whatever. So, today we're going to be talking about toys that some stores like fast food chains sold. So, we're going to start with some of the, like, not really, like, fast food or locations like that. Really, merchandise, anyway, whatever. So, this thing is probably the oldest thing I've owned, and it's, you'll notice it's a jack-o'-lantern pail bucket that you get candy in, which, like CR said in his review of this kind of stuff, he said it was genius, and really it is. The toy, you can put candy in. It's marketing genius. So yeah, um, I remember, when did I get this? This was a long time ago. Uh, back when I was a kid, a little younger actually. Um, yeah, I really don't know what to say about this. You know, it's it's an awesome pumpkin with a handle and you put candy in it. Alright, so moving on to the other things. Uh, this is, and you might remember this from Retrocon, this is a Slimer toy. Oh, there you go, you can see it. Slimer toy that I got at Retrocon, and this was from the original, the real Ghostbusters TV series. Now, the paint job on it's good. Uh, of course, it's a little aged because it's, it's a really old toy. Uh, not too bad. You know, there's a, there's a couple scuffs, and right here, uh, if you could see, yeah, there's a little bit of a some like some of the stick from uh, the tags on it. Uh, you'll notice the seven dollars is still on there. Which I guess I got this for six bucks. It's better than Mr. Bucket. It's right over there. Um, the one thing I noticed is that his arm. Like, let me see if you can do it. Yeah, look. When you you move the hand up and down, the mouth moves. Now, I don't know, because there's a little, like, hole in the back of his head right here. I don't know if, like, you were to squeeze that and, like, I don't know, some kind of Play-Doh or something would, would come out of that. I don't know. It didn't come with it. Then again, if it came with it, it'd probably be hard as a, hard as a rock. So, there's that. Now, onto sort of the more, like, franchised stuff. So, um, we got... God, there's actually another one. Um, uh, oh, damn it. So, these were basically, they sold these, they, these are really, really old. These are like, I think 1995, probably? Yeah, around that time. And these were basically little candy dispensers with the Ronald McDonald's and Friends characters, except this is, I don't know, look at that. It's like a rejected Muppet or something. I don't know, it's a witch mask, whatever. But yeah, this is, here's one with Ronald, and it's a scarecrow mask, and then you flip it open, and candy would come out of it. So, it's genius. And I noticed that Ronald looks somewhat creepier with that face than he already does in real life. Who would have guessed that Ronald, Mc Ronald McDonald could get a lot creepier? Uh, other thing. I got this at, this was at, actually from a Walgreens. Uh, I think, I think, I think Burger King had these to 1.2. They used to have like little things in them, like you were to hit them and they would say stuff. Silly Slammers, that's what they were called, Silly Slammers. Uh, I don't think the battery on this thing works, but... Yeah, these, remember, these things came from a Walgreens, so, and it was a long-ass time ago, so, whatever. And, yeah, it's a good design. It's very soft, very plushy. Uh, if only the, the, only the voice box still worked. Um, uh, the next thing, and I, I forget where I got the, I think these were at McDonald's or Burger King. Either way, they're awesome. Hang on, let me adjust the camera. You can tell I'm a really big Familiar Faces fan because I actually remembered these from his review. Um... But these things were called Monster Bones, because they had a thing called Silly Bones, and basically they're Pogs, but I had no idea what Pogs were, seeing so I've never really played Pogs, because, you know, I'm super young. But I guess basically the point of Pog is you have to see how much you can knock down, so, except here they're monster creatures, because you got a Scarecrow there, you got Dracula there, you got a Werewolf there, you got a Skeleton here, and I got a Spider here. So let's see if I can knock any of these down. Crap. I got, wow, see, I got, I, look at that, I got two knocked down, okay, so that, gotta admit, that's actually kind of impressive. Seeing how I didn't have a lot of stuff to actually talk about in this review, maybe I can look over some old commercials that, I, of stuff that I didn't have. Can you identify who it was that frightened you, man? I'll try. Yeah, it was really creepy. There were animatronics, one was a bear, one was a bunny, and one was a bird. It was freaky. This Halloween, terrifying creatures are on the loose at Taco Bell. It, it's them! Ah! Lady, you're freaking out at toys. Seriously, who gets freaked out at toys? Ah! Goosebumps at Taco Bell. Slappy's Candy Keeper, Cuddles the Horrible Hamster, Rapid Mummy, and Skullmobile. Get them now. 
Goosebumps collectibles only at Taco Bell. Wait, 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 let me get this straight. So there were collectible toys of Goosebumps at Taco Bell. That is super awesome! I mean, just alone, the, the fact that they sold stuff, like little toy meals to come with the food that you got at Taco Bell, that's awesome already! It's the Pizza Head Show! Hey everybody! I'm on my way to Pizza Hut to get a Goosebumps Kids Pack! Yay! Ha, ah, Mr. Bill. I remember when I used to watch Mr. Bill when I was young. Still have a VHS from when I was a kid. Well, younger anyway. Almost there! Hey, this isn't the right way! Well, Scarecrow Steve says it is! He's no Scarecrow! Oh, no, no, no. That is a scarecrow. Chinip, I only had a brain. This is a scarecrow. Hell, this is a scarecrow. Sure he is. <laughs> uh oh, I think I woke the neighbors. Look, Pizza Head, you'll be perfectly safe in there. Uh, okay. Relax, the Goosebumps guys just want you for dinner. See you in the next lifetime. Now you can collect one of three ghoulish Goosebumps glow and tell story card sets and you buy a Pizza Hut kids pack. So, apparently, not only Taco Bell was catching this whole Goosebumps collectible selling phase, but, uh, apparently Pizza Hut was as well. And speaking of Taco I hate this part. Monsterizer back at Taco Bell. Get them while they're fresh. Just 99 cents with the purchase of a combo meal. Taco Bell. Want some? Save $3 of Noreen World's Hallow Scream with coupons from a participating Taco Bell. So, some southern redneck guy just walks out in the middle of woods into a chicken coop filled with monsters and he plucks the eyeballs from the monsters and puts them into loopy straws and they're apparently sold at Taco Bell. That is kick ass! Why couldn't I have one? Well, there's eBay. I can always get that. So, hope you enjoyed the review of all these nostalgic toys that I have and those, these old commercials that are way older than me. That's not saying much, but whatever. So, hope you enjoyed this MediaWeen review, and I'm the MediaWiz because Wireform wasn't enough.